Hello everybody. So for today's video, I just want to create another video just talking about how you can troubleshoot any business registration error that you guys are currently encountering. On my previous video, we did talk about how you can register your business profile and at the same time, how you can get your A2P campaign cases approved. So in this video, we'll just talk about a few of the problems that most of our users have encountered, especially you know when their business profile got rejected or when uh, their A2P cases basically is being declined or denied. All right, so first things first, let's just go over um, REI Reply. And then from here, we basically want, want to be under the, the settings section. Um, in here, you have all the general information you have for your business. And the rule of thumb is whatever business information you have submitted in REI Reply should be the same business information you have for your LLC when you have your LLC registered in whatever third-party company you have used to, to get your LLC registered. So for myself or for my business, we did use Wyoming Secretary of State um, as our LLC or the ones who created their LLC. And normally when you have your LLC established, you will be getting on articles of organization. So if you're not sure uh, because your LLC has been established a long time ago, what you can do is you can always go back with um, or go back with um, your articles of organization just to review if the information you have in REA reply matches the ones in your articles of organization, which is pretty much um, the same document that you can see here. So you can see the LLC name. You can see what's the physical address that I have registered for this business. You can also see even the authorized representative for this business. So pretty much the initial um, thing that you need to do is make sure that all of these, um, especially the legal business name, the physical address, authorized representative matches um, your information in the articles of organization if you guys don't have this document handy you can always visit the website where you have registered your business so for some it's going to be swift to check your business profile and verify these details um, in the meantime i'm going to hide this um, information because i do have a couple of um private information here so other than that um, other than this general information validate that you have the correct business type uh, the business industry the business registration id type and then business registration number which is the ein so if you if we go back to the troubleshooting errors the normal error so far that we're seeing is when somebody actually entered the business phone number however it has the incorrect format so it has the incorrect format so the correct format that you guys should be following is this format pretty much um the first like the error code and then um separated by hyphen after the three digit phone number okay so you make sure that you have the same um format and then at the same time I think this is the most common is the business EIN. So you did have the correct business EIN um, under the general information. However, what is incorrect is the format as well. So you do have to ensure that the dash is placed after the first two digits of the EIN. So this is very similar to this format. So again, just follow the phone number format and the EIN format so you will not have the same error message. Number three is the business address, um, which I think I have uh, mentioned already, should match um, exactly the same as what you have in your articles of organization or your business profile when your LLC was actually established. So if we have to go back to my LLC registration earlier, it has a suite number. So you guys have to make sure that you also include any apartment number, suite numbers on it um, as part of the physical address. Again, you can verify this by going to uh, the third party company website or just by basically pulling your articles of organization document, which is this is the sample document here. Um, the other errors, um, mo most common errors that I'm seeing is also like not indicating the business registration ID type. Business registration ID type, guys, is going to be EIN if you have um, your business established in the U.S. Um, and I think also number five is one of the most common because what happens is that people are actually entering business website. However, it actually doesn't match the same business legal name that they have for their business. So, for example, for, for my business, if I... Um, 
you know, uncover this information, you would see that I did use JT Virtual Assistance LLC. So this has to has to match the business website that they had event I have entered here. Because for most people, what they're doing is we buy houses, um, LLC. But then the business website is like JT Virtual Assistance LLC, which is technically not the same. So this this has to match um, as well. I'm gonna go ahead and just do this. Oh. All right. And finally, so once you're actually certain with all the information you have here, finally, what you need to make sure is after submitting the business profile, make sure that you proceed right away with the A2P campaign registration immediately. And so far, guys, um, we have our clients getting approved in just under 10 minutes. By actually following, of course, by making sure that all of these are correct, and at the same time, getting some of these workarounds uh, for our A2P case app, um, for A2P case uh, registration. So let me just go ahead and go directly and get our A2P case approved. All right. So as you can see, currently my business profile is in review. Now I'm gonna go ahead and start with the registration. Here, uh, like I said on my previous video, it's gonna be mixed. Um, I do have a sample. I do have a sample campaign description, which for now I'm gonna go ahead and just copy and paste. I'm gonna go ahead and select next. Uh, one of the workarounds that did work for my team, guys, is not including, in the meantime, not including any opt-out messages in your sample messages. For some reason, it gets approved, but again, this is not yet certain whether that was the reason why this is approved. So for now, because this works for us, um, I think we already got at least six profiles approved for this. Um, you know, to not just include the opt-out message. And then here, for message, I'm just going to go ahead and use this. I'm also just not going to include, although in my format, I do have that. I'm also not going to include it for now. Okay. Here, I'm going to just go ahead and click um, the checkbox for both. And here, it's actually part of the workaround. Um, from what our team discovered is that you should leave the optional messages blank in the meantime just to get approved and then finally to not include any website in the end users consent field because the initial example that i provided you guys i think i included our website um, link in the end user so in the meantime what i'm going to do is just say go to our website instead of like putting the actual website in there so now i'm going to go ahead and click submit and I think you just basically need to wait under 10 minutes just to get your profile approved as well. So as you can see, both are now pending. I'm going to try to refresh and see whether this is going to be approved after maybe a few seconds. But generally speaking, it actually gets approved under 10 minutes or max of like 24 hours. So let's just check. So far, it's not yet approved. So I'm going to have to just wait for at least the next 24 hours to just see if this workaround did work. I'm going to give you guys an update whether this is um, approved in my profile. By the way, this is the actual um, FAQ guides that I have created for everybody. All of the most frequently asked questions are here. What happens if I don't register? Why is this happening? All of these are discussed in this document. We also have other best practices. So like after you have registered, your business profile after this a2p cases has been you know after this is approved what are the things that i need to you know like make sure i still do uh to protect my to protect your um profile or like like your trust score um i think it's still the same you know totally do's and don'ts but just to be aware of what are the other best practices you can read through this and there's also like campaign case registration guide here like the sample campaign description messages and all that and of course the very i mean the, the newest article on this is going to be the troubleshooting registration error if you guys have any question i'm going to include this in the description link in terms of this faq guide is, is concerned um just leave them i mean if you have questions just leave them in the comment section below and i hope this you know this video helps